I hope you had a chance to watch my first video on the accounting equation. This is a follow-up video to include how revenues and expenses affect the equation. The accounting equation states that assets always equal liabilities plus equity, such as in this balance sheet where we see that total assets equal the total of the liabilities plus the equity. In the first video, we saw how the accounting equation changed when a business gets a bank loan. We also saw how the equation is affected when a business purchases equipment. We also saw how the equation stays in balance when an owner contributes cash. And this was because both cash and equity increased. This video will focus on how revenues and expenses affect equity and we're going to show how this shows up on the accounting equation. Let's start with revenues. Let's say we have a store and it had a million dollars of sales last year and all its customers paid in cash. Assets increased because cash increased. Liabilities were not affected. Equities increased because an increase in revenue increases equity. Our accounting equation balances. Now you may not understand this at first, but when a business closes out its books, the accounts will be adjusted. At the end of the year, this business will take out the $1 million from the revenue account and put it into equity. Revenues will start at $0 for the new year, and equity will increase on the balance sheet by $1 million. Now let's look at expenses. Let's say the store had $900,000 during the year in expenses and paid these expenses in cash. Cash will decrease by $900,000. Liabilities were not affected. Equity decreased because expenses decrease equity. And our accounting equation balances. We could have said that net income was $100,000 for the year instead of taking revenues and expenses separately. We would have said that assets increased by 100,000 because cash increased by 100,000. Liabilities were not affected. And equity increased because net income increased by $100,000. And our accounting equation balances again. Another possible situation that we could have said was that our store did not receive any payment from its customers and that it is still waiting to be paid and that the store has not paid any of its expenses but will pay them in the future. In that case we would have said that assets increased by one million dollars because accounts receivable increased by one million dollars, that liabilities increased by nine hundred thousand dollars because accounts payable increased by nine hundred thousand dollars, and that equity increased by $100,000 because net income increased by $100,000. The $900,000 increase in liabilities and the $100,000 increase in equity come out to a $1 million increase and once again our accounting equation balances. Always remember that the accounting equation assets equals liabilities plus equity is the basis of double entry accounting which states that every transaction affects at least two accounts. The accounting equation and double entry accounting, along with this system of debits and credits, is the foundation for writing journal entries. If you would like to see part one of my video or my video on writing journal entries, just click below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.